Good morning. Good morning. It is Stitch Along Friday again. It is. And yep. we are back. We are. Isn't yep. that kind of fun? Or we're here. Yeah, exactly. Both <laughs> of us were kind of grossing this morning. I've been coughing mm -hmm. and I said, I think maybe I'm allergic to being downstairs at work. <laughs> That's always a good possibility. But no, seriously, you said you also wake up yeah. kind of stuffed up. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think there must be something releasing or something like that. <coughs> yeah. And yeah. last weekend, uh, last week on Friday, I was also coughing during yeah. the whole thing. I apologize. I'm sorry. Exactly. I hmm. don't know what else to do. Do we have any viewers this morning? It's not really showing anything. Not yet. But, you know, maybe it's just a little slow today. It could be, yeah. You know, we just have to check. There oh, you there we go. go. Oh, we yeah, weren't yeah. looking at insights. No, That's we right. weren't. It's like, okay. Good morning, Marsha. Morning, Marsha <laughs> Buckingham. So nice to see you. I've been watching some, um, I think it's called Flip This House or something like that. Mm, and they're in uh -huh. Waco, Texas. And I see that, you know, everybody's yeah. always like not at all in a bad weather, like everybody's always in good weather. It must be nice to be able to be in Dallas where things are, you don't get up very cold there, do you? In not general. usually, not generally. <laughs> yeah. I think you might get some snow occasionally, weird snow. Yep. That's what I've heard, but I'm not sure about Dallas either. What is Dallas like? Anyway, Marsha, it's yeah. good to have yeah. you here. <laughs> I just ramble yeah. on in my usual fashion. I like that show. Yes, Yeah. I think it's flip. Yeah. Flip something. Uh, fixer Upper. Chip, oh, yes, yes. Chip, Chip and Joanna. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It should have been called Chip and Dale the way they talk. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> it says something, somebody is have an afternoon in Nova Scotia already. Yeah. Margaret. Yeah, yes, it is afternoon in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Hello, Patricia. I'm looking lovely to you, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that we brighten up your day trying to look lovely. <laughs> <clears throat> Marty says, good morning all from Lake Placid, New York, USA. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the weather is like too then. Oh, Carol Lamont. Look at oh. We look lovely, apparently. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's Thank good. You. Jeez, thanks. And I didn't even, you know, plan it. She didn't even try. <laughs> I didn't even uh, try. <laughs> I think it must have been the Chinese food you bought for us last night. I, it must have been. It was so good. Oh, but that's a good Chinese restaurant. It is. Yeah. Out here, like Lisa lives closer to town, but out where yeah. I live, there is a, a Chinese restaurant, which is actually further away from your house. That is. <clears throat> it is, yes. A little further north. But it was her birthday, her husband's birthday yesterday yeah. evening, and she went for a run for Chinese food before yeah. she went home, and I got some too. Yes. Which was really fun. Yes. It was worth me letting me go run there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, the fact is <clears throat> that I haven't been out to a restaurant in, what, five weeks or so? It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. It's been five weeks since my operation. It's been five weeks. Wow. Yeah. Well, half halfway through? Halfway to ten weeks. <laughs> halfway to ten weeks. Yeah. yeah. But now I've got so much more mobility. I don't even yeah. have my boot on here today. Oh, okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, that's I, good. I have a boot cast, what do they call mm -hmm. it, an air cast. Mm -hmm. But I thought, oh, you know, I don't wear it very much around the house anymore. And I don't seem to need my, I just have a cane, mm -hmm. which helps a great mm -hmm. deal. See, I got mm -hmm. my mom's cane. Yeah. Which she used when she was hobbling around. So you got downstairs <laughs> without the cast on it? Without the cast, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. That's good. But I don't have any hard floors. Like, other yes. people have hard floors. True. I have a lot of yes. cushy, cushy yeah. carpeted Carpet floors. So mm -hmm. it's not so bad. Uh, look who else is here. Donna Granger. And it's supposed to rain on Sunday. Oh, well, in a way, I bet you hope that it does. In a way. Because the rain will help with any fires that are going on there. Hello, Louise Fossa. I've got to go back and see yeah. who else is here, don't yeah. I? Marty had a question there, so. Let's see. Marty, I've been checking on the website. Are there only nine buildings and two trees in the Gingerbread Village? You know, I think in the title it tells you three of so many. And mm -hmm. I can't remember how many. I think there might be ten, but that includes yeah. the Halloween building. That's true. <laughs> and I think it also includes the Gingerbread Tree and Tweet, too. Yes. Yeah. But beside, like, I think there's 10 total, but the haunted house was also kind of a gingerbread house, but it's not a Christmas village kind of house. Exactly. But in regards to buildings, I think there are nine buildings and two trees. There you go. Yes. And the two, one small one and the, and the, the really and large the really one. Large one. Yeah. So I hope that helps. And it is 62 and blue here in Lake Placid. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, That's very a nice temperature. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know and what we're going to get up to today. Dean Morrison, good morning from sunny Atlanta. Gladys Hamilton is here. Good morning. First time I made it to you in oh, your life. Yay. <laughs> That's so good, Gladys. Thank you. 
I'm so glad you're here. <clears throat> it's only 57 degrees here. I think we've been waking up to about 14 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so that's probably uh, 20, 14, 28 plus 32, so 60. Okay, I was going to yeah. say 58, so my 58, guess, 60. and literally it's my guess, yeah. I don't know. Fahrenheit is what we grew up with, and then everything changed here is into metric in yeah. Canada and everywhere else in the world, just so you people in the United States realize yeah. that. <laughs> Mostly um, everybody's metric system. Yeah, but anyway, so I, I just still remember approximately yeah. what the temperature was when it was 50. So. It, it, exactly. I think <clears throat> how they calculate Celsius to Fahrenheit is you double whatever the temperature is, and then you add 32. Okay. Approximately. Right. And it wouldn't work if you did it with the bigger numbers. That's right. Exactly. But our weather doesn't yeah. get to the bigger that, well, numbers. Well, that's right. Yeah. Happy Friday from Sue Lynn. Thank you. From Kingston. Norma Farrow. Hello. I'm so glad nope. you're here too from <laughs> Rochester. And Carol says, but it's the middle of the day here. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, 57 is the middle of the day here. So mm -hmm. it must be kind of cool for you guys already. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that some of my games have changed all their coloring from summer coloring to oh. autumn coloring. <laughs> so that's how I know the, cha the seasons <laughs> the are changing. Season is change, changing. <laughs> no, it's yep. not. It's just, just one of those things. We also have some autumn patterns here. We do. What yeah. have you been doing this week? What have I been doing? Besides that's always driving a, me around. A good question. Well, yes, I've done that a couple of times. Let's see. I've also, um, well, we're... Pulling things out of the back room. Oh, yes. We have and, to tell you about this. First, yeah. I just have to say, um, Tammy, she's home today. Football game to go to. Oh. Thank you for the <laughs> update, Tammy. So good to see you. And Ka Carol, oh, my goodness. You've already turned the heat on. We haven't managed that yet. No. No. Yeah. Well, I think in the bathroom in the office yesterday, I turned it on just a little bit to get rid of the chill, and then I turned it off. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Anywhere, really fun thing. I thought we were going to have our sample grab bag here. Oh, remember it was I'll in the. Go, I'll go grab Would it because mind? it's in the back room. Okay, yeah. so um, the the trick is, we were thinking about what are we going to do because we have to downsize, 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 and we still have um, a whole bunch of completely unrelated raw materials in the in our what was called our back room, but it's really our stock room for all the raw materials, and we have shelving put all the way around. Um, uh, the room itself is like a small bedroom uh, in the house, but we've had shelves put in at various different depths. So there's about, I think, uh, four shelves on each wall this way and all the way along. And that's all covered with, or covered, it's all um, used for all our raw materials, which are done in bags and in containers <coughs> in alphabetical order according to uh, the supplier they come mm -hmm. from. So this is a really well-organized but completely um, unnecessary uh, um, stock that yeah. we have to sum that. And I was saying, okay, well, maybe we should just bring it to the landfill. And then we both go, no. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> so we thought we would make grab bags. Yeah. R random. And this is just the one sample. There's going to be all sorts of different things in the grab bags themselves. See, because we have materials but they don't all go together to make any act packs yes. so we haven't actually got enough to make any complete no. act packs anymore no. but we do have a whole bunch of stuff in our grab bags and there's going to be here let's unpack it for them sure so this is not going to be like every ba bag is going to be different different yeah <clears throat> and every bag is going to contain something different but will be approximately well you'll see if you buy one because our grab bags will have like at least how many yards of silk? I think there's 50 yards of silk, whether it be silk ribbon or silk floss. There you go. Of all sorts of different vendors. So it could be over dyed uh, from Gloriana or Karen Collection or some Krynic or some Overa Swap. There's a whole yeah. bunch of odds and ends that we have. <clears throat> So that's what that is. And then we have metallic braid. Braid, yeah. And various colors. And yeah. we also have some of the soie perle. Yeah. That is in this bag anyway. <clears throat> and then we have in every bag it's gonna be different, but we yeah. do have some fabric and finishing packs ready. And these actually go together for one project, which yeah. is stitching under stitching the oaks. Stitching under the oaks. 
<coughs> and so stitching under the oaks also had skirtex that went with it as well. But you know, you can use the skirtex for something for else. For something else. And all this yeah. fabric for something yeah. else. Then we have are going to have some pearl cotton in there. I'm mm -hmm. going to have a little bag of buttons, buttons. various yeah. different kinds of buttons. <coughs> a bag of these kinds of beads and a bag of sparkly beads and some charms which are good for our Beyond Cross Stitch series or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's not all. There will be patterns in there, some occasional patterns that we'll have left over. I have some old patterns that I need to get rid of as well uh, in my personal stash. I mean, yeah. it's going to be a big grab bag. It is. And it's going to be exciting. Yeah. We're going to put it on our website probably next week. Yes, probably at the end of next week. No, it'll probably be midweek. Well, I was thinking I still need to grab all my stuff. So, I know, yeah. but you're not going to have a whole week to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we're going to probably put them up um, on Tuesday. And okay. you'll still have enough time on Monday to grab okay. what you need to grab. Okay. Anyway, the point is that they're going to be available for you to buy. And then uh, you they won't be very much. You yeah. know, like the amount of stuff that's in here that to add to your stash will be awesome. And it's all yeah. new. Nothing been used no. before. It hasn't been fingered or anything. It's all brand new stuff. So it's going to be kind of fun to um, uh, see uh, how they go out the door. And yeah. for our sake, we want them to literally find new homes. Yeah. That's the we, only reason. We don't want our, you know, <coughs> remaining leftover inventory to go to the landfill. That's yeah. one thing for sure. Yeah. And I think that the the guild in, in Victoria has plenty, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. And... Um, you know, I'm not going, I'm not really interested in, I'm, I shouldn't say interested in, I guess I would be, but it takes a long time to go on Etsy or whatever yeah. and sell these things. Yeah. And truly, um, you know, this has to be kind of uh, done before the end of the year. Yeah. Really. Yes. By the end of the yeah. year, everything should be gone. Gone as much as we need it to be gone. Yeah. Because not everything is going. No. no. But, you know, a lot is going. Yeah. So I uh, hope that that's kind of fun for you guys. Yeah. Had. Oh, wonderful. Look at Yeah, people like grab bags. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Okay, good. I'm glad you like grab bags. And grab yeah. bags can be <laughs> inexpensive, but of course, the, the shipping on them will be what's important. Yeah. You know, they'll be inexpensive, yeah. but then there's shipping. Yeah. Okay. I'm so excited. I had to yeah. tell them all about it. You had fun playing with the buttons yesterday. So. Yes, and I'm going to put all the button backs and bead packs together mm -hmm. upstairs with my foot up. Yeah. Over the weekend. Over the weekend. I'm mm -hmm. going to be personally overseeing this part of things. Yes. <laughs> I might bring all the threads up to you too, and you can play with threads as well. Yeah, but, but maybe yeah. not this weekend. I no, think no, I think you've got enough with the mm -hmm. buttons and the charms. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. How many did you say we had in one pack of just buttons? Was that like 50 different times types of buttons? Oh, I think so. 50 or 60 or something like that. I, what did I bring up? Ten, 10 different boxes of mm -hmm. buttons. And each one of them had, I don't know, three in there or three or four in there. I just can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, we have lots. It's unbelievable how our inventory grew. And Absolutely. You know, particularly yeah. in the first few years. Yeah. You know why? Because I didn't know you had to limit your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a good we just kept on buying yeah, buying and, so and maybe we should have um going thinking back limited our accessory packs we make a hundred and then that's it we don't make any more well you know? that but might we, have been but you know yeah. i think we did really we did well really over well. the years we did um and they all went in yeah, the end so they did. no Absolutely. i think we did okay that way yeah. but what we didn't do was limit our the amount of inventory that mm -hmm. we would buy mm -hmm. because i would just want to try new threads yeah. and try new true, buttons and beads true. Yes. and unfortunately yeah. our inventory was so high at one point and i said what why are we we're not showing any profit yeah. what's going on here <laughs> i wasn't a very good business yeah. woman <laughs> but we learned buying and buying and buying <laughs> i'm a shopper just yeah. like anybody <laughs> anyway so good morning marley good morning hola Ah, uh, grab bags are fun greetings from sunny oh hello vicky fisher hello. i haven't seen you yeah. for a while that's great um, good. So anyway, um, and then what else have you done? You've done uh, all the packaging from l the last week of orders. I'm right in the middle of doing all the packaging, so I should be able to get them off this afternoon, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so I've done that. Um, let's see. I've grabbed some models for today. 
<laughs> and I've, yes, you have. I've started working on um, redoing another free pattern into a mini pattern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know. Just the amazing flies. Yes, and you did some other, I think a few other things that you weren't in the whole time. I'm not sure. Did you take some time off this week? No, it, it was last week. It okay. was last week. I don't know yeah. why. Things just sort of yeah. muddled together. They do. You know, yeah, it goes. exactly. When you ask me, it's like, what did she do this week? Well, you know, know you I did, did ferry me around quite a bit this week. I mm. think I've had two appointments that you had to take me back and forth and basically wait for me while I've done my appointment. Yeah. Yeah. So, isn't she sweet to yeah. do that driving and waiting for me to hobble <laughs> along, you know, to her car? Anyway, it's just great. <clears throat> anyway, so, the, the week just flies by. So. It certainly yeah. does, and we're very happy yeah. that you're here. So, we have, I'm um, going to show you some models. We are. And I'm thinking that we should show them uh, the Halloween stuff first. We can do that, <clears throat> yeah. Because it looks like you've got lots of Christmas models. I here. do, and I have the last two of the... The alphabet, too. Oh, well, let's do that one first. Sure. Then. And this one's actually Halloween. -y. It is. It's so, very perfect. So let's do this one. You want to do that one? Yeah, first? yeah, because it's like okay. in order. So this is the last sampler of the alphabet um, samplers. And of course, it's XYZ. Yes, yeah, so it was really hard to find stitches that had that started with those letters. Yeah, that's true. So I did find a few, but I figured I had to put three in one. And yeah. And it was almost impossible to, you know, make a whole one out of X, for instance. There weren't hardly any X's. Hardly any at all. <clears throat> but because that, that worked really well, actually. So um, in the end, we only had 24 yeah. uh, samplers instead of the full 27. Six. Six. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, there's only 26 left. That's really bad. <laughs> I knew it when I said it. When I said no, no, there's no. <laughs> I feel like one of those people that's you know asked the question like, what country is um, Europe in, and then they say you know Italy or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the other way around. Yeah. Anyway, this is Halloween, so this is yeah. great. Let's do so the other one. Okay. Of course, this is the W sampler, and it's got some nice lettering in it. The windmill, the wolf. Some W stitches. Um, I think you put a wombat in there. I think so too. A wheel, wagon, well. And of course, W is for witch. And <clears throat> W is for witch. But she is a good witch, don't forget. Yes. She's not a bad witch. She's a stitching witch. There were a few people who said, oh, I wouldn't want to, you know, stitch a little witch. Stitch a witch. But, but she's, let's face she, it, she's there's, a happy witch. She is. And not, not only that, there's witches all over the place. So I don't know why you wouldn't want to stitch a witch. On the other hand, if you want something else in there, you could maybe clothe her instead of in black. Mm. You could clothe her in another color. Yeah. That, then she can be like a white witch yeah. even, or a pink one. Yeah. <clears throat> and then yeah. one of our favorite Halloween Absolutely. models yeah. is this one, which is the original Stitch and Stitch Witches. Stitch Witches. Exactly. I love that frame, by the way. Me too. Whoever chose that really chose well. I think you chose that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me being silly. But it also has the fillet in the inside too. Right? Yes, that's yeah. right. I made it extra wide yeah. with this fillet, and which toned in perfectly with the um, rest of it. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was a little bit gothic looking. Yes. <clears throat> So there we go. There is the Stitch and Witches. And of course, at the bottom, that's what they're doing. Dyeing some linen. <clears throat> that's right. Boil and, what is it? <clears throat> toil and trouble. Bubble, bubble, toil yep. and trouble. Yep. We should make a rhyme with dyeing linen, but it yep. doesn't, doesn't seem to rhyme. <clears throat> and then we have one more big one that's Halloween. Mm -hmm. I bet you guys can figure out which one this one is. And I'm going to start stitching this beginning of October. It's already on roller bars, ready to go. It's not going to be that long, you know. I know. It's going to be yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. So do you like feel anticipatory uh, excitement? I do, but um, <laughs> first I want to finish Old MacDonald's Farm. because. Oh, yeah. yes. So you've only got a couple of weeks I've that. only got a couple of weeks of that, and I'm on the bottom big scene. So there's lots of cross stitches. In that My one. favorite part is this little tiny skeleton dancing. Isn't that adorable? It's a button. Yeah. And I think some of our um, packs are going to have those in have those in them. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and look at all the beads. And, oh, it looks like there's a little bit of thread here, right? 
I've got to take that off so that yeah. you can see that that doesn't belong there. There's also some hem stitching or drawn thread as it's called. And of course, there's the little guys, trick or treating. And really, the bottom is like that hard hanger with the spider web and the mm -hmm. spider. It really is very Halloween-y. <clears throat> I'm really happy with that. So I hope I didn't show it too fast that you could see every single bit. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Looks like Lisa's going to show something yeah. too. And this one's called, oh geez, it just escaped my head. Ah, uh, uh, I can't remember either. Um, huh. I knew it yesterday. I can't remember. Yeah. No. <coughs> does it head. say on there? No, it doesn't. You didn't write on no, it or I anything? I didn't write on it. Oh, it? it's something to do with um, yeah. our sugar plum. Sugar plum. So I don't know what this one is, but oh, it's just terrible. Yeah. Why did you not show it? And then you know, just sure. maybe you'll come up with it. I'll come up with it later on. She's gonna surprise you in a little yeah. while. Yeah, I might, I might have to go get my. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm still waking up, so. Yeah, maybe get some tea, you know, and that'll jog your memory. Jog my memory. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm it's, sure it's going to be fine. It's, you know, cardinal, um, sugar, sugar and lace. Oh, see? Yeah. She's so good. Sugar and lace. There you go. Now you've got it. Actually, that one can show a little bit closer. A little I little love it that you showed it far away first, though. And I look at the little gold hearts. I love hearts. the gold road heart. Yes. The angel. <coughs> All the beautiful stitching on it, and then the hardanger. I love the hardanger in this. That is a really long, you know, very yeah. complicated hardanger, and yeah. for a, such a small, small narrow piece. design, it, it really set, it makes a statement. It's mm -hmm. Very lacy. Um, Louise Fossa said, "I love that trick or treat design. It's in my stash." Yeah. Now is the time to get started on it. Absolutely. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to the sugar plum that went with this. No, and I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. I don't think we misplaced it. No. It's possible that it went walkabout on um, when one of our studio tours. It, it's possible because that has happened in the past that I've heard of other people like mm -hmm. when, when people come and visit our shop. Sometimes you know things just disappear. Disappear. <clears throat> but on the other hand, if it's gone, it's gone. Oh, well, that's right. Exactly. Maybe when we move stuff out of our back it, room, it could be, it could yeah. be hiding underneath yeah. a, a cupboard so, or something. Somewhere or in a tree. I tried looking at all the little Christmas trees that you have yeah. to see if it's still stuck in there. But Wouldn't it be fun if we found it like under a cupboard I know. when we move it's, out? It, that's right. Exactly. So I'm sure it will show up. Anyways, these are adorable little or ornaments. They're called heirloom memories. Yep. And they're a really fun little stitch. You've got your little red truck, which I love with the tree in the back and the snow falling. And then you've got some carol singers in the village. You know, these two scenes remind me that I was going to make a few more. You were, yeah. <laughs> and, because, yeah. and it reminds me because I remember thinking, oh, yeah, and then we could do this one yeah. and we could do that one. Because there's always something happening in a village, yeah. particularly in a kind of a English kind of village, you know, mm -hmm. where, where people are doing and preparing stuff for Christmas. I mean, we could have like a Christmas tree salesman yeah. or salesperson, yeah. you know, where all the little trees are sticking up and these... The uh, UPS <laughs> van showing up, yeah, or yeah. the Amazon <laughs> truck showing up with <laughs> boxes. With your gifts. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really a cute finish because you, you just stretch the piece on map board, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you back it with some wool felt, and should have put a hanger on it, but... Could have. Could have. You know, this in. really sticks really well in your, mm -hmm. in your tree, so yeah. really, you know, when you did the front part, you brought the linen to the back and glued, yeah, it, and glued it to some four ply mat board, yeah. which is the acid free mat board yeah. you get at your framers. Exactly. It's like finishing an ornament, but instead of finishing the back with another piece of mat board, it's just wool felt. Mm -hmm. That looks really cute. Yeah. And it disappears, that wool felt sometimes disappears right in the, into the tree. So Absolutely. you just see the picture yeah. sitting there. I like uh, having some um, ornaments that don't hang. That they sit mm, in the yes, tree. In the in the tree, absolutely. I kind of like it because they they have them. You can have the idea of uh, positioning them the way you want. Yeah. 
Ah, beautiful ladies. I'm so late, but I'm here now. You're here. Yay, yeah. Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. You missed something about grab bags. Right, That's sure. right. Maybe you can go back and have a look and see at our grab bags. Absolutely. We're going to be making them, Dorothy. These are some of our, this is a kind of a model of yeah. the grab bags we're going to be making. It's going to be linen in there. It's going to be finishing fabrics and beads and charms and yeah. buttons and threads and silk threads as well as cotton threads, which we didn't even show you yet. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, a whole bunch of stuff uh, from our uh, stash in the back, our inventory, mm -hmm. we call it, our raw materials. Because uh, unfortunately, we literally can't make any app packs. No. Because no. there's always some uh, three or four things missing. Missing. Yeah. So we can't actually make enough backpacks to use up the rest of the inventory, but we yeah. can make sure it doesn't go in the landfill. Yes. So that's what we're hoping to do. And what's our next little ornaments? We have oh, these are so cute. the little Christmas crackers. That's right. That's what they're called. I'm always fascinated with uh, the um, um, tradition of opening Christmas crackers at the Christmas table. Absolutely, yeah. And we never had that. In my home because we were um, I was born in Holland so we had St. Nicholas feast and at Christmas time we had no crackers or any of the other mm -hmm. usual mm -hmm. North American or English um, traditions so for me to watch people opening this little thing making a noise laughing and then putting something on their head and looking at these little toys it just made no sense to me <laughs> Then and I realized there still makes no sense to me either, but <laughs> but so I'm fascinated by the idea of crackers because that's a little gift thing, mm -hmm. right? And then I got okay, it's actually meant for children, isn't it? Yes, but I think some adults get a bigger kick out of it than. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a tradition, and as soon as yeah. you have a tradition, you carry it on anyway, because it uh, makes you feel festive. Uh, absolutely, yeah. I get I, it. All those people sitting around the table with the stupid little paper hats on. It would crowns. be really nice if they use the paper crown and they go dance around and then take it off. <laughs> That's right, exactly. And it, you know, never fits on your head properly. <laughs> And if you try to make it, you know, come down a bit, it ends up ripping. How do you really feel about those paper crowns? I'm not thrilled about them. <laughs> not my favorite thing. Sorry, I've got to sneeze here. Okay, yeah. see you in a minute. We've decided that because we do Ooh. some coughing and some sneezing, we're going to be taking off really quickly <laughs> and getting up because we seem to be under the same cloud of allergies here. I don't know what it is. I think we have a lot of um, outdoor um stuff floating around in the air so i've just got finished tying that up for you thank you so let's show yeah. these models these are our okay. crackers. Christmas crackers yes and the cool thing about these christmas crackers is they come back year after year there's no yeah. hat in them <laughs> and of course what you can do is you can put your own surprises in these absolutely you know i just stuff them and they also will sit in the tree kind of Oh, they do. They sit yeah. in a tree really well. So you yeah. can position these two within the branches. They're within the branches. So there's one. And I have to hold it more tightly. There we go. Let's see. There. The snowman. Yeah, the snowman looks like that. They're actually tiny little yeah. um, samplers, yeah. if you think about it. They're like little needle rolls. And there's the angel, which matches this Absolutely. angel that Lisa yeah. did find the name of Sugar and Ice. Sugar and Ice. And then there's a little Santa. There, now you can see better. With the hearts on it? Yeah, because now it's in focus. In focus. Yeah. And then finally, I like this one too. It's the little ginger, gingerbread man. Mm -hmm. Again, it's got some nice little lacy parts. And then some buttons on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So those are <laughs> those ones. Dorothy was asking, are the grab bags on our website yet? No. no. Nope, not yet. Not yet. We still have some organizing to do. In fact, we have to create them. Yeah. And we spent, uh, you know, a few hours yesterday kind of creating our first one and to see uh, how much we can charge for them and how much it would cost to ship them generally. And yeah. um, then we will uh, put them on our website with our gratitude for helping us keep needlework safe from our the landfill. landfill. Exactly. And now we have some excellent, excellent. Can I can show you this one. Absolutely, that's a. I love that piece. There we go. This is also Christmas, and this one is gigantic. Takes forever to show the whole thing. 
Let's see if you can see the whole thing. Well, almost. Yeah, almost, almost the whole thing. So this is called the Carol Singers. And uh, at the top, of course, is Santa and the reindeer. Here we come a caroling among the leaves of green. Da -da 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 -da. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <coughs> and you can see there they are singing away. I didn't do it. I didn't do that song justice, I have to say. I'm sorry. And here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you and to you your wassail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year etc. That bottom heart hanger also looks stunning actually with that bottom, the bottom under, it looks like it comes out from underneath uh, the white lace. So pretty. Anyway, so that Carol Singers has been a huge hit on um, just forever since uh, since it yeah. was first created. Re and, released. <clears throat> yeah. So it's one that if you if you can have this in your stash if you haven't done it yet. It's a fun piece to stitch. And remember yep. that we can send out printed versions of this still until the end of this month. Exactly. <coughs> oh, that reminds me mm -hmm. that if we get any orders um, coming in for oh, yes. stuff to send off, we will send you... Um, we have some left over. Yeah, not many. No, just a few. Yeah. So the first bunch of people, and about how many would I, you say? I think about there's 20? 10. Is that there, all? I think I counted 10 bags. 10. You get a bag like this. It's, yeah. it's wonderful. It's got the Victoria Sampler name on it. But what's really cool is you get to um, <clears throat> fold this up. Exactly. Like that. I yeah. think it, I don't exactly know how to fold it up. But basically, it is in a little pouch yeah. that gets folded up together. Hang on. Exactly. Hang on. Got it? There Almost. It Almost. So there, and then you zip this up this way. <laughs> yeah, there's a piece of paper in there. Okay, yeah. so basically this gets folded together like that. And, and then, you can see the zipper yeah. zips all the way around. And I can't do it really quickly here because there's all sorts of things happening. And so you can pack a bag in your purse. This bag is, I'm That's sorry, right. this is how big the bag will yeah. be. And so this is a kind of like a um, convertible bag, very yeah. handy to have, especially if you're going somewhere to a retreat or, you know, mm -hmm. and you want to have an extra bag with you in case um, you buy some things and you've got yourself a shopping yeah. bag. Well, and anyway, shopping bags are very popular and very fun. And uh, this one is with our little logo. We had these for our uh, retreat, stitching retreats. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Well, the, I don't know if it was a the last retreat. A number of years or, ago, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hello, Karen Lark. Oh, good morning. I hope yeah. that you're fine. Lying in bed probably still. I love that bag. Well, all you need to do is order something because we have a few. And so yeah. the first ones after today, after, the, after right this minute, That's right. that orders the very first 10 uh, will get a bag yeah. in their order. Because yes. it's a great way to uh, thank you for all of your um, patronage as well. Absolutely. So you're the first ones to know about it because yeah. you're here for our live thing. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we send out the grab bags um, email, which will be on Tuesday, people will then know about the grab bag. If there are any left, which there may not be, but if there are any left, then definitely yeah. um, you can have some then. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then do we have one more thing? We've got actually two more things. Okay. And we're going to start <clears throat> with this one. This is, let's see, the Retreat Cottage. Yes, this is so cute. It's actually modeled after Sue Donnelly's Retreat Cottage, her own Retreat Cottage, her personal one. And this is Michael at the front saying hello. This is, I don't know who that is. That's not Sue. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually have a little balcony. These cottages, she showed me one time I went to visit her in uh, Connecticut, and they have what's called a camp. And in the camp are these tiny miniature Victorian buildings that they call cottages, and they really are small, which is where this, all of the people who own property in this camp, they go to these cottages to get away from uh, the city and be in nature. And it's beautiful. It's right overlooking a river. <clears throat> and it's also got religious overtones. It's also a um, church camp. Yeah. And, and so uh, it's got a little yeah. uh, sun um, porch. Yes, that's right. Yeah. This little sun porch was the hardest thing to do. Absolutely. And you don't have to do it if yeah. you don't want to. <laughs> but it was it was kind of fun to add an addition onto a building. Absolutely, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, it was a, a learning experience. 
Very fun. So that's the uh, gingerbread retreat cottage. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing are these cute little gingerbread Oh, that reminds me. In our grab bags, we should also put three of these. Oh, we could do that. Hey? Yeah. Yeah, because we yeah. have quite a few of them. It, that's right, exactly. Left over. Yeah. So you'll get some silicone cups in case you want to do these patterns. The, the, yeah. These ones, which are the gingerbread. Sorry. Let's pull that out of the way. They hang like that. They hang beautifully, and they also um, sit in your tree if you want them to mm -hmm. just sit. So this is the one with the snowman. Cute, 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 cute. And I think what you probably need is to also have some of these buttons in the same package as having these um, silicone cups. cups. But even if you don't have them in the same package, think about it. You can go to Michael's and get Absolutely. some other buttons. That's right. As long as you've got the cups, you yeah. can follow this pattern. What's it called? Gingerbread, Gingerbread cup cups. Cupcakes. And you can put whatever buttons you find on it. Yeah. Or, you know, silk ribbon flowers or yeah. whatever. Absolutely. <clears throat> but those yeah. silicone cups are made specifically. It's the right size. Yeah. Actually, the pattern was made with those silicone cups. Absolutely. Sorry, it's not the other yeah. way around. I didn't make them to order. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Margaret. We have lots and lots of different kinds of finishing. Brenda says, um, time slipped away. I just realized it was time yeah. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Brenda. And hello, Margaret. Again. Oh, no, you were here already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have some, we have quite a few ornaments amongst we our do. patterns. Yeah. So you're going to yeah. see quite a few more in the next yeah. few um, weeks. Yes, I love making ornaments because they're a quick stitch. Mm -hmm. And you have something that either goes on your tree or you can give them away as a, a, a present to people. I like the idea of having a tree set up by the front door. And then when guests come, as they're leaving, they say, <gasps> oh, by the way, please grab a ornament off what the tree. What a nice idea. Mm -hmm. So you make some and yeah. they are gifts, but they get to choose which That's one right. they want to take home. Exactly. Have you guys ever heard of that? I love that idea. That is just so cute. I, I thought it was a great idea. Now I just have to get busy and get in a house <laughs> that I can have a tree at the front door for my guests when they come over. When you, because we're going to be um, also taking less time, Lisa is also going to be taking less time with the work that we're yeah. doing together. Uh, so when you are semi-retired, then you've got extra stitching time. I've got extra stitching time and finishing time and, um, yeah. And everything and, time. And everything time. <laughs> it, that's that's right. It's like, oh my goodness, I am i don't think I'm worried about how I'm going to fill my time. No. It's, I'm worried about not having enough time to do everything even I want to do. That's even right. Even then. I know. Because you've been working eight hours a day for how long in your lifetime now? Not just here. Not just here, let's see, oh, well, you know. 25 here. 25 here, 10 at my previous job, and then I had odd jobs here and there with not working in between. So I would say overall, I've been probably working steady for about 42 years. Whoa, yeah. you believe that? I don't think I've been working that long at yeah. all. Of course, yeah. you know, when you're a housewife and you're changing um, and you're basically taking care of a couple of kids and you're making sure that your husband, who's a realtor, gets all of the entertainment um, that he requires for all his future uh, customers, that's not considered work. <laughs> I would consider that to be a really hard job. To it was do. really hard. Yeah, job. I bet. Okay, Dorothy. Okay. Guess what time it is? Let's do. I'm, I always want to go to the bottom. Let's see. Both of them love the idea about having a tree with ornaments on it, and Karen as well. And Margaret says she's not there yet, but retired people often say they're busier once they leave their job. I yeah. have heard that as well. And yeah. it also, I think what happens is. You know, it's busting out. Yeah. Like you've been kind of curtailing. Oh yeah, I'll do that when I'm retired. I'll do yeah. that later. Yeah. I'll do that and then. And then, so you've got so many things you oh, want yeah. to still do. Yeah. Anyway, what does it say? You are making a difference in people's lives. You are. You are. Yes. And so are you. And so are you. <laughs> it's important to remember that no matter what we do, we make a difference. We could. It's yeah. Just up to us. What kind of attitude difference there's going to be. <laughs> You can make a difference that's not such a nice difference, yeah. or you can make a really good difference yeah. in people's lives. But no matter what, you will always affect other people. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's true, Taya. And add in a grandchild. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's always something like that. This time, I actually managed you to print it. this. So this is our next 
um, pattern or part of this pattern, which is mm -hmm. for September, and there will be only one more uh, pattern after this, and then it will be October. So that yeah. should be exciting. On the back, you can see this is how it goes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Some of you were clever enough to notice that I, not Lisa, <laughs> I was the one who actually put up all of September's patterns. And I think it's basically because I was a little under the Your in influence of drugs. <laughs> I just, Painkillers. I don't know why. I thought, okay, so I'm going to put in all of, and I thought I was doing August, the end of yeah. August. Yeah. But I instead, I just <laughs> took in all of September because I had them all ready to go. All the links yeah. are all done and everything from before my operation. I didn't have to think about it. Well, I should have been thinking. You should have been thinking. <laughs> A little bit harder anyway. Yeah, so there's a few. I think there was one lady who's already finished the, uh, all I think of it was September. Taffy? 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 Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, so cute because she was so proud of herself. Yeah. <laughs> I grabbed them while I could, she said. And I think she said, it was Lisa who put them up. But no, it was my fault. Yeah. Nevertheless, they are now still going up. I took it off, so you can't find them anymore. And uh, this is the third part of September. So I hope that you yeah. enjoy that. And Margaret said, yes, I did notice something was funny and I have them all printed <laughs> off waiting for me to do. <laughs> I was wondering, no, not too many people mentioned it. Yeah. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> and in any case, no matter what, you know, you can't take it back once it's out there. So yeah. I just, I just thought, okay, I won't say a word. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, mom is the word. Yeah. Yeah. And as it turned out, uh, nobody really said very much. So I was kind of feeling like I'd gotten away with yeah. it. And, and then I saw Taffy had done it all yeah. already. You know, so she's funny. such a fast stitcher, Taffy. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, she is. Um, it looks like um, uh, Margaret uh, has got them all printed off. That's good. But you didn't they yeah, jump the gun, jump. which was nice. And thank you, Dorothy. And Carol says, I found that after my retirement, I slowed down. Well, my body did anyway. So I joined a few organizations, and now I slowly meet my requirements. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I think that everyone treats retirement differently. And I think in general, women are really good at retirement, retiring from outside jobs. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's because inside and and outside the home, mm -hmm. um, we're always busy, you know, yeah. and not every woman is the same, I know that, but in general, you know, we yeah. have more hobbies, we have friends, we, yeah. we establish relationships with our families, <laughs> and the guys generally are more focused on their careers and on their jobs and, you know, and their sporting events. So, yes. you know, if they're as sporty, that's great, but as you're retiring, you might have to give up things like, you know, deep sea diving or whatever sport you happen to have been involved in when yeah. you were younger. Um, but I've noticed that guys have a harder time with retirement just in general. It's the suddenly they're like, okay, now what? <laughs> no, I think I think my husband was planning retirement for a couple of years. Yes, no, he so was right into it. He was right into but it. But he's got hobbies like crazy. He's got hobbies like crazy. Yeah. And, you know, he did pick up the slack. So he does grocery shopping and he cooks the meals a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but I've heard most of, of the time. Yes, he's really good. <laughs> he's really good. But uh, for you know, the two yeah. of you are working together. Yeah. But I have heard of men who just sit there and go, I don't know what to do. So they'll drink or they'll, yeah. you know, just go out all the time doing silly things. And honestly, I don't think it's easy to suddenly be bereft of your identity yeah. as a man or as a accomplished somebody. You know, if you're a doctor, what other thing can you do that gives you that same satisfaction? Well, my husband took up archery, and this week he's been in the 55-plus uh, senior games that's happening here Can in you Victoria. believe it? And you know what his last name is? Archer. Yep, their <laughs> last name is Bob and Lisa Archer. And he's going in archery. <laughs> <laughs> so he's participating again today? He is, yeah. And I remember when I said it was 900 arrows, it's 90 arrows. Okay, I'm yeah. feeling much better. <laughs> Thank goodness. She said there was an event where he, he had to do 900 arrows. I thought, oh my God, that's a lot. That's a lot. Because yeah. my partner also does, Richard also does archery because he's a, he's a Sagittarius. I, that's why I figured he yeah. started with archery because, you know, the Sagittarian yeah. thing. Um, but he um, would do 25 and then he'd do another 25 and he'd go, okay, that's enough. Because <laughs> it takes a lot of strength to oh, yeah. pull some of yeah, those. Yeah, to pull some of, some of those bows. Yeah. I think so. Richard has a 30 pound, a 35, and a 40. And the 40 was, he worked up to the 40 pound right. bow. 
And honestly, I couldn't move it. Like, it's just like, well, that's yeah. no wonder I have no muscles in my upper yeah. <laughs> Ah, there you go. Dorothy says people have hobbies and never lonely. That's true. And Carol yeah. says it's because most of them don't have hobbies. Exactly. Yeah. They, they don't, because they're single-minded, yeah. doing a really good job with their job, mm -hmm. but then suddenly, you know, you're not doing that anymore. What are you now? Yeah. It's not easy to find your way after that. And you're right, Anita. Women often have more inside activities, exactly. Tammy says, I already have all the September charts too, but I haven't started to stitch along <laughs> yet. And Marty is so cute. She says, I noticed all of September's posted, but I just smiled and silently said, thank you, Tia. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I feel so much better. Yeah. I didn't want to actually talk about it. And no. the reason was I'm a little embarrassed, but also I was not feeling well. No. And I didn't yeah. want to get into it because I knew I'd go, yeah, well, I did that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you did indeed, but that's okay. That's so sweet. Lisa is always very reassuring of anybody making mistakes because we're all human. We're all human. We all make mistakes. You can't go through life without making mistakes. No, and that one really wasn't that terrible. Yeah, that wasn't terrible. <laughs> you didn't kill anybody. No. <laughs> okay, so we've got um, the leaflets are coming out. The grab bags are coming out in um, probably in a couple of days after we come back to yeah. work. So probably Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. And we have... Um, Leaflets are going to be printed, and, and the, little, the first 10 or yeah. so will get one of these that, that order anything after today. will get one of those in their order if they order something that's to be mailed to them, yeah. if you know yes. what I mean. Yeah, it can't be a PDF pattern. No. Nope. It has to be uh, something we're shipping to you. Exactly. Yeah. And this is what a grab bag will end up looking like. There's kind a of. whole bunch of stuff in yeah. there. And they'll probably come to you in a little box. So that there's no problem with thickness, because absolutely you can't you can't put it in a padded envelope. No, well, we probably could some, but I can yeah. tell you that even the padded envelope with the pearl cotton, pearl cotton, it's just yeah. too thick, and then yeah. it doesn't go through. So we'll get yeah. to all those things. We have to order boxes if it's a if it's probably, a popular thing. Probably would. Um, yeah, I might get the the smaller boxes mm. um, because I've got the larger boxes. So. No. And you don't have to just order one. You can order as many as you want. You can order 20. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we are going to have a certain limit for now, made a certain limit, yeah. and you might run out. But then if, it, if the limit is reached, we'll probably just keep doing Absolutely. it. Absolutely, until all our inventory is gone. Yes, so you'll have a chance until, I think, well, whenever, yeah. whenever it's gone. Um, we really appreciate your um, support in keeping all of this lovely stuff in action, not in the uh, not landfill. in the landfill. Mm -hmm. And it'll be fun for doing the creative patterns too, because you'll have um, multiple different colors of threads that you can pull from and to do charms and, and, and charms and beads. And, oh, you have and, no idea what's going to be in yeah. these things. It's going to be packed full Absolutely. of beautiful new wonderful things yes so i hope that you look forward to getting those marty says i also been retired for a few years i found that if you schedule stitching time like thursday morning is stitch a long time <laughs> this is when you do your stitching monday afternoon is ega time okay yeah, time. that's a good idea yeah. yeah also having a schedule like that it's like it's when you're going to work all the time you're kind of used to okay today i get up and do this work and then yeah. today i get up and do this work mm -hmm. and then you have a weekend where you say today i'm not going to work and so then that's a kind of a relief right yeah. whereas if you uh, have kind of like oh uh, maybe i'll do it maybe i won't you don't have that kind of routine mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. and sometimes we're very good with routines yes we kind of like to have those routines I, I in our lives. like my routines yeah, I get up at this time, I do yeah. this, and then I do that, and then mm -hmm. I do that. Yeah. And I think a lot of us do that. And when everyone else has a weekend, I know that very often I feel like, okay, today I get to do whatever I want. Whereas I could have done whatever I wanted anyway. That's true. Yes. <laughs> you know, in as far as um, like in the last couple of months, particularly, if it was a year ago, I would still be under the gun, making sure that I was working every day. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, you know, you know what yeah. I mean. <laughs> I'm going on. I think I had too much coffee. Oh, yes. okay. Too much coffee today? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. so. I think I have to be quiet yeah, now. No, <laughs> please don't. I like it when you talk. When I'm babbling. Yeah. When you're babbling, it's, it's reassuring. Your babble is reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a little quiet. 
while I've been recovering, but the foot yeah. is healing really yeah. well. It is. Yeah. And it's sitting there below me here. I don't have my boot on right yeah. now, so that feels good. You um, can flex your toes a little bit. I can. I've been doing movement exercises. Good for you. Do you yep. have to do physio? Yeah, that's the kind of physio. And you also have to relearn how to walk with them. No, I meant do you have to actually go to physio or you just do the exercises yourself? I look it all up online. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm going to pay the guy for $40, uh, whatever it is, 50 bucks a uh, half an hour, and you tell me the same thing. So, no, you can look these things up. Up, yeah. And yeah. I've also had one other one done. Like That's that. true. It's a bunion, true. bunion yeah. um, operation. Um, but it's going to be 10 months before, sorry, weeks, before I'm actually able to walk on it with reasonable security. So gotcha. right now I can walk on it a little bit. Yeah. But I walk on the side of on my the, on the foot side, you're not and the putting, heel. Yeah. So I'm not actually, t you know, walking on the injured part. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, as the days and the weeks go on, another half the time again, another five weeks. Another five weeks, and you go see the doctor again when? In next end week. Of, end of this week. End, end of this month. End of the month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're gonna bring me down there too, because right. I still can't drop. Yeah. <laughs> It's so annoying when you can't drive. Oh. You can't just leave when you want. No, I've been a Wait, prisoner. Which is kind of good. You're kind of held captive. So if I need anything, I know where <laughs> you are. <laughs> I can't just disappear. Yeah, you can't just disappear. <laughs> oh, Katrina, you're going to be under anesthesia that day. Oh. oh, no, don't forget. It's not going to be just that one day. Yeah. It's just going to start that day. That's We're right. going to have bags afterwards. So when you come out of your anesthesia, make sure you have your credit card in your pocket. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> have your phone waiting. <laughs> when you open up your eyes. <laughs> Dorothy says the same thing. There's plenty of chances. Yes, and the thing about um, uh, the, the grab bag event for us is you're going to get a lot more than you would be paying for. It. That's important yeah. because we have a lot of very new... Um, completely unused and beautiful things that yeah. used to go into our act packs but can no longer make any full act packs mm -hmm. so we're going to give you something that sort of goes together but maybe some things won't go together but it'll enhance your stash in a really meaningful way for yeah. future stitch alongs yes yeah. yeah and that's what it's for stitch alongs or the creative patterns or <laughs> exactly it, even the mini patterns yes that's you right know? the mini patterns mm -hmm. also can be stitch with this mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, Marty is telling me to just be careful in caps. Thank uh, you. Okay. That you don't stub your toe. You'll be back at square yeah. one. Oh, I'm very aware. Very yeah. aware. <laughs> Trust me. Totally aware. <laughs> if I stub my toe, I would not be a happy camper. Oh, definitely not. No. But no. don't forget, I, I'm going up and down the stairs here, but I wouldn't go out the door without no. my um, boot. No, yeah. and even in the house, I move very slowly. Yeah. Um, as I'm moving, I'm finding myself more mobile, so I can actually make a dinner, yeah. like actually cut up some vegetables, go between the stove and the counter and that kind of thing, because mm -hmm. I couldn't do that for the last five five yeah. weeks. So yeah. I'm only just yeah. Your mobility has gotten better now. That yeah. yeah. Um, you're moving around a little bit. And, yes, well, I'm yeah. very careful. So thank you. Yeah. Sandwiches get boring after a couple of weeks, don't they? Oh, I know. <laughs> Crackers and soup. I'm really good yeah. at those. Yeah. <laughs> Katrina uh -huh. says she's also trying to declutter and downsize. Well, that is, yeah. you know, yeah. what we do. And Absolutely. hopefully we are able to um, make somebody's uh, stash feel a little bit richer. Yeah. No, I look at my sewing room going, oh, I really need to do something in here. But, but it's amazing. The things that we don't use, we still keep for, yeah. like, some Just kind in of case. sentimentality sometimes too. You, you never know when you're going to need something. Exactly. So, so I wouldn't, you know, go yeah. get too crazy. You're still, you haven't even retired yet. No, that, so, that's right. You know, exactly. No, don't yeah. de declutter too much. But I have some, you know, the crocheted baby gra um, granny squares that I was going to make a baby blanket with 35 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got, you know, a bunch of little squares and I look at it going, am I ever going to do this again? Well, Probably maybe not. if you give something like that that's an ongoing project that hasn't been finished, I think the women's shelters oh, like those idea. kinds yeah. of things because yeah. it's um, it's kind of nice for people to be working on Exactly. Something. I mean, I've got a baby sweater that has the uh, f front, back, and half a sleeve done. <laughs> <laughs> we all do this. I know we do. 
uh, Margaret makes it uh, Mel Anson says oh the minute you let something go that's when you finally Absolutely. figure out what to do with it that's right that's <laughs> and that's what I'm afraid of you know it's like exactly you know all over the years you try multiple different types of you know, needlework or craft stuff so you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. I think I might still have some old macrame stuff yeah. from 40 years that's, ago. That's that's really saying something Lisa. Yeah. I, I'm kind of shocked at that. <laughs> uh, yeah and I, I've got some needlepoint canvases. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Hey. Stop. Stop. Yeah, stop. I know. <laughs> I've already gotten like, rid of all of that. I know. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Same here. So, oh, that's anyway, so funny. I have to do that. Oh, and um, Dorothy wants to know if Richard is home now. No, he's not. He yeah. won't be home until maybe not until next year. Yeah. So I'm going to go visit him though. Uh, as soon as my foot heals, that's on the schedule. I'll be going for a couple of three weeks, something yeah. like that, at a time, and uh, go visit and see what it's like down there in Mazatlan. See, see if you want to spend the stay longer. Down there. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure yet, but that's yeah. part of the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing now is just yeah. to make sure that the house is emptier and yeah. emptier. That's right. So yeah. that uh, I can I can make some different changes, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 And this yeah. is also making some changes. We're just not sure when it all will happen that, yet. That's right, exactly. It's, you know, you've got to sell one house, buy a new house. It's just all kind of... When you've been yeah. somewhere for a very long time, yeah. like you've been there for the entire married life. Right? I, I moved into that house in 1990, but my it's a house my husband grew up in. So he's been there since I think it was 1967. So there's lots of sentimental, you know... Things for him. Things, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. The, the thing is, as soon as you have a house like that and you have to leave it, it it's amazing how there's a part of you that wants to do it, move on to the next yeah. one, but there's a part of you that's holding on tight it, to exactly. old stuff. And, I think uh, he's we, more gung-ho to move than I am. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you've all had a wonderful yeah. time today. Mm -hmm. And I know we talked a little bit more about our personal lives, yeah. but I hope that that didn't interfere with <laughs> your right. enjoyment. Exactly. And yeah. we did show you all of our models. Halloween things, mm -hmm. our models, etc. If there's any questions, let us know by all means. Um, but I think it's time, the end of our... It is. It's almost an hour we've talked here. So yeah, yep. it's time to move on with the day. I've got some things I need to get done before I go. Exactly. So thank you so much, Margaret. It was wonderful to um, have you here. And thank you so much. Those of you who have participated in the chat, because yeah. when you participate, we have some people to talk Absolutely. to. We love yeah. it. So thanks again. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Yeah. Let's see. I want to make sure that I get this and do this correctly. Absolutely. There. That's yeah. probably a good idea. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> I hope you have a great week. Yeah. And we'll see you next Friday. See you next Friday. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.